Hi, I'm Marida, this is Dre, and baby girl Monby. We planned on exploring Hassan the Second Mask when we got approached by taxi drivers to give us a city tour of Casablanca, Morocco. We decided to be spontaneous and try something new, so come along. Okay, hey, um, <laughs> I get nervous all over again. Hold on. So it's not always on me like that. Okay. Um, well, we're starting the day, and we decided we're going to be going to the Hassan Mosque, Hassan II Mosque, and we're using the movie app, which, thank God, we have something we can be using, so we can be using their local transportation, so we can get on the train, but right now, we just took a detour, so we can have a breakfast. Ah, let's see. And we got a thing, so we're gonna eat it over there by the train while we wait. It's actually our first day to start exploring in Morocco. I'm so excited. We are going, well, we're gonna try to make it to the Hassan the Second Mosque. I'm excited. Crazy enough, our first day of traveling anywhere new, it's nerve wracking, but it's exciting. It's nerve wracking because it's a new place, but it's exciting because you get to explore and see something new. So come on, let's go. <laughs> So anyway guys, we was gonna catch a taxi or catch get on the bus to um get to the uh what is it called again? Hassan Mosque. Hassan Mosque. So Hassan the second mosque. Hassan the second mosque. So yeah, we decided to go ahead and just walk through the town so we can actually, you know, see up close and personal with everything today. So um yeah, you guys come along with us. Okay, so we just made it over here to the ma mosque. We're just trying to find our way inside. But when I looked it up online, pretty much the president at the time, he felt like he wanted something grand in Casablanca. So he was like, oh, well, let's build a mosque. And he ended up building the mosque. They got the mosque. They started the construction for the mosque. Then all of a sudden they were like, um, they were hoping for it to finish building it in 1989. But which was Dre's year of his birthday. But instead, they finished building it on my year of my birthday, which is 1993. So look at this beautiful grand mosque. And actually, this is considered the largest mosque in Africa, but I think the second largest in the world, from my understanding. I believe that's what it was, which is phenomenal. So we're about to go find our way inside so we can see how it looks. We found our way into the museum after going in a circle, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully so. So we were to see here are their visiting hours and the prices. So you could go to the mosque and the museum for one forty Durham, which is fourteen dollars fourteen dollars USD. So anyway, guys, um, we was gonna go to the museum, but um, the next tour is until three o'clock. We bumped into a tour guide. So he's actually going to show us around for the day and take us to a few places. So, um, so yeah, you guys come along with us and see uh, Casablanca. We ended up doing a tour last, a city tour, just randomly. Yeah, so randomly. No, from uh, my boss. This is my boss. That's your boss? Yeah. Oh, I was wondering who was who was who. Was who. Yeah, but you're speaking pretty good too, though. Yeah, so it's all good. So you know a good place where food at? Yeah, in Morocco. Uh-huh. I want to eat good. I don't want pizza. Pizza? No. no. Tajin? Yes. yes, I want Piscous. something good. Yeah, yeah good. Okay. This is Morocco. It's Tajin. This is the Rick's Cafe. Rick's Cafe, dude. Guess we got to pass it in guys. Uh, this, is, this is the old Medina. 
This is the premium appartement in Casablanca. Gotcha. This one. This one. Oh, the old Medina? Yeah. Okay, we may. What's the name of this place? We had a restaurant, and it's called the Home of Tradition Moroccan Food. Talk about tradition, traditional. But it, it, trust me, we would have never found this spot. It's like a, it felt like a hole in the wall, pretty much. Because it was pretty ducked off. We, like, you would have never noticed it. But let's see. We found out the old sook, the old Medina, is the sook over there, and it's pretty much ran by the Chinese. But the new Medina, that one is ran by the Moroccans. So, so he was telling us go to the new one because it's more, it's more pretty much Moroccan. So that's interesting. That's something new we didn't know. Well, at least that's the comparison between the old and the new Medina. Right now, we're in the old Medina. How did the Chinese get the old Medina? No Chinese. Huh? Yeah, just Mark. Just for shopping. Oh. For uh, Jilaba, Kukan, souvenir. Mm -hmm. No good Mark traditional for man. Uh. Just for machine. Oh, it's all machine. Yeah. Oh, no my. good market. Oh. And is it the Chinese people bringing it here? Or the people? Oh, yeah. oh. For example, everything is made the argan oil. If you heard about argan oil, mm -hmm. argan oil is the tree which exists only in Morocco. We call it the yoke tree. This one. It's the tree which is only in Morocco. How do we make very, how do we make very, very late? This uh, argan oil. We take it the nut uh, and we broke it. Inside we find that seed. We look like almond, but this is not almond. What you eat, this is different. We use only oil. We take it and we grind it here and become paste. This paste, with your hand, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze like this and become oil from the paste. It's natural. We have 16, 60 kilos to give only three kilos the almond. How many? 60. 60 gives you 60. to give only 3 kilos. The first one is the cosmetic one, which you use Berberlegis for everything, like hair. No, it doesn't smell. Berberlegis, we call it Botox, because we use for uh, all the body and we use for all, also for anti age. Mm. Like, uh, you know, wrinkles, bags, and yeah. very good. Yeah. It doesn't smell. If you want to try this sample, how it help how you make like this, become hot. Mm -hmm. Doesn't smell. You use for your skin, for your nail, for your hair, for all what you use. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it? For your age? No? <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Good. Good. Nice girl. Beautiful. What's your name? Mombi. Mombi. Mombi, you are welcome to the Blanca Mombi. Mm -hmm. uh, T for lose weight, for skinny, if somebody wants to I lose know, weight. I know, because I like this one right here. I don't know which one this one is, but I want to look like that. This one. <laughs> yeah, I want to look like that. See, to give your muscle, mm. yeah, your muscle, like, uh, to burn fat. Yeah. Become only muscle. It's very, very good, this one, brother. Small spoon. Every day in the morning. And now let me show you the black seed. We call what you call it my jelly seed. We use for sinuses, broad nose, asthma, bronchitis, and to stop snoring. Mm. Snoring at night sometimes. Yeah, right yeah, a woman never snoring, just man. <laughs> never, never snoring. Ladies never snoring. This one don't drink it, don't eat it. I'll you just smell just, it. Would you just some clothes like this one? Put some black seed inside. Make a small wood and you wrap with your hands for to activate it. If not, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And you use like a big, you know, big mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that in your country. Mm -hmm. Like this. <sighs> no, it's not from Colombia. Yeah, 
Oh, very nice. Snake <laughs> brother. Take a picture for him. <laughs> this is not Colombia one. Try it strong. <laughs> oh. I know. <laughs> With this we make mix. With natural mix. So also what? babies can use when you have cold, when you have cold. Okay. Baby is so old. Okay, this is where the rich folks stay at. Look at these. And then he said, there's rich people here, and then if we go forward, even more richer people. And they're doing so much construction. I know, it's the way it's built so differently. Each know, one. Okay, we're right here in the Moroccan coast. This is the Atlantic Ocean. So, oh my goodness, we found out this used to be a military base, but now the current king, King Six, um, he's pretty much wants to just deck out this whole coastline into just beautiful attractions. Like, but I understand, like this really can become so beautiful whenever they really deck it up. But. Oh my God, this thing is so grand. It makes you feel like you're, you know all the fairy tales you read about? Come on, baby. All the fairy tales you read about? Coming inside this mask makes you feel like fairy tales are real. Well, I mean, it took a lot of time to do this, all the detail. The way this looks inside, I feel like everybody should experience this. I can't get over of how much of a lovely day it's been. Yes, it's been very lovely. Even though we didn't even really plan to like get a get a guide or whatever. Yeah, the, the, it's just one of the things. It just it just happened, and course, we agreed to it. Yeah, we, so. it. we ended up paying like three hundred dollars for it, though. Yeah, for him to show us around and everything. So I mean, it, a little bit on the high side for the ride, but it was a little bit worth it for us. You know, considering we had the baby and we didn't really want to do too much walking today. Yeah, we just said, why not? Sometimes we say no and sometimes we say okay. So yeah. today was the day we felt like saying okay. Yeah. And all we can say is we had a lovely time. We got to see a whole a lot of Casablanca. Yes, and yeah. we feeling like we've enjoyed completely everything that we've seen. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and find our way back home and enjoy the rest of the time. Yeah. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye. This is the Atlantic Ocean. Ooh. Me and her were special. <laughs> we were here Ooh. naming every other ocean than this one. <laughs> but, hey, hey Mom, do you want to say something? Go ahead. Okay. Okay.